I did an interview with SB Nation the other day, and I was asked what I thought of Josh Rosen. Uh, someone asked what I thought, who I thought Josh Rosen would compare to. And I, you know, I kind of offhand, I said, well, yeah, Eli Manning compares really well to Josh Rosen. I was like, yeah, here, here, this is exactly how I said it. I think I said, I went, eh, Eli Manning. And I, I hate that. I hate that I did that. Uh, and I want to be very careful in the future to not compare players and not make projections like that. Uh, I think player comparisons are really lazy. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, you see that a lot at this time of year. Late in the, Around the draft, people say, who does this compare and project to? What kind of guy? You know, could this guy project as the next Andrew Luck? Could this guy project as the next Michael Vick or this or that? Um, I do not think that's a good way to do things at all. I'm not a fan. I know that making a comparison grabs people's attention. Like when you say, uh, I'll make this comparison throughout this entire topic. When you say Jimmy Garoppolo is the next Tony Romo, people go, oh, their ears perk up. They have familiarity with Tony Romo and it grabs their attention. But it's lazy. It's a lazy way to really share information. If you're making a comparison, it's really important to answer why you're making the comparison. Why are you making this? Why are you saying these things? And again, you could compare Jimmy Garoppolo and Tony Romo, um, but if you're going to do that, you have to explain. You have to say, well, Jimmy Garoppolo holds the ball really low, like a bit lower in the pocket. It makes him look kind of casual, like he's a lazy thrower. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo also has a really solid ability to run around outside the pocket and extend plays. When you say all those things, you go, oh, that makes sense. That's why Jimmy Garoppolo compares to Tony Romo. But it's also interesting when you flesh it out, um, and when you do that, when you flesh it out and really say what you mean, it kind of removes any reason to actually make a comparison because you're just saying things about Jimmy Garoppolo that make up who he is. Um, and I don't know that we often make helpful comparisons. We put athletes in boxes saying, he projects as this, you project as this, and we don't have a very open mind. Um, and we really don't properly explain their skill sets. I, again, am not a fan of player comparisons. I don't like saying, this guy's the next blank. He's the next Michael Vick. He's the next Vince Young. He's the next Sam Darnold. Um, I just think player comparisons are lazy. They're distracting. They don't really get to the point very well. And I'm going to make a big effort in the future to not make player comparisons. I'm not a fan. And I, as, as little as I, I don't want to make them as little as I can. I'm trying to get away from them and trying to avoid doing them in the future. I think, again, they're lazy and unhelpful. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. And I, I want to I want to ask for your help. I want this show to grow. I want more people to watch and more people to listen to this podcast. My dream is to do this show as my full-time job. I want to own it myself. I want to do it on the internet and have complete control. I don't want to do it for CBS or ESPN. I don't want to work for a big network. I want to own it myself. And if you believe in that dream, please do me a huge favor. Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast. Share it on Facebook. Share a link on Twitter. Maybe you screenshot it. Put it on Instagram. I, I don't have a marketing strategy beyond this. This is all I have. You know, a lot of people, one of the most common comments I get on YouTube is, you have great content. We love your stuff. You deserve more viewers. What you should do is you should buy ad spaces on Facebook or Twitter or promote yourself and buy, buy revenue, like buy ads. I have no money. I am a broke college kid. I, I can't buy ad spaces. I, 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 don't have, I don't have money to pay for books. And so... My plan, this is my marketing plan, this is my strategy. All I plan to do is put every ounce of effort I have into making the very best podcast I can. I believe if I make a great product that people believe in, that people like, then they will share it with their friends. And so if you agree with that, if you believe in this show, if you like what I do, please do me a huge favor. Tell your friends about it. Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast.